Hello my wonderful friends, it's Connie with your weekly wellness tip. I do the research and a little bit of work and I bring you some tiny pieces of information and invite you to join me on the journey of self-healing. In the name of transparency and vulnerability, this week we're gonna talk about clarity and how to find it. Because, whoo, have I been on a journey to find some clarity. Okay, before we dive in, quick little story about myself and how I entered, nay, was shoved into this journey of clarity. And if any of you can relate to this, let me know down in the comments. I was at a job that I absolutely loved when I first started. And over the years, it was kind of like a steady decline in job satisfaction. I went from loving it to kind of feeling like eh about it to dreading every single day that I had to go into work, which is not fun if any of you have felt that. And then the coronavirus happened and that turned all of our lives upside down in some way or another. Being that my job was in the travel industry, it definitely affected us. Long story short, I took a short leave of absence and thought, okay, I'll take a few months and then decide what I'm gonna do from there. I'm gonna stay or if I'm gonna go. While on leave, my job offered packages to those who wanted to leave permanently and about three weeks to decide if you wanted to take them. So basically I had to get some clarity and I had to get it quick. And here we are. Although I'm just starting this journey, really, I already feel so free and so much more complete than I ever have in my entire life. So that's all I know. If you're feeling stuck, confused, afraid, first of all, I hear you. Second of all, you're not alone because most of the world feels that way right now. And three, it's okay. Be kind to yourself. It's gonna be okay. These three things that I'm about to share with you today are exactly where I started. So let's go. A quick preface, these three things that I'm about to share with you are the literal foundation building blocks of getting clarity in your life, but it's where you have to start. You don't start a race in the middle, you start at the start line. Come on, what is that called? It's the opposite of a finish line. You know what I mean. Anyway, these are gonna sound so simple and you're probably gonna think these are like, duh, wonderful then do them. We're building a sturdy foundation so we can rise up strong. So start here and then work your way up. Number one, declutter your space. Am I saying that you need to go on a Marie Kondo spree and just clear your whole house of everything that no longer sparks joy in your life? Yeah, maybe, eventually, but you don't have to do that today. Today, just start by decluttering one space in your house. A space that you're gonna set aside to just sit for a minute. On your bed, on the floor, at a desk, at a coffee table, anywhere. I know it's cliche, but it's cliche for a reason. A cluttered space is a cluttered mind. The physical action of you clearing out space is gonna start telling your brain that that's what we're gonna start doing in our minds. Just clearing out that junk that doesn't belong there anymore. That is how you start to find clarity. The second Second step I want you to start taking is to do at least a one minute, just 60 seconds meditation before you start your to-do list for the day. We're gonna talk about your to-do list in just a second, but right now we're talking about meditation. So much of our life is spent just jumping from one thing to another. From washing dishes, to taking a shower, to making dinner, to running an errand, to going out with a friend. You don't ever take pause. Before you start figuring out what you need to get done that day, just take a minute to gather your thoughts and just recenter yourself. And you can start doing them in between all of your activities. Think of them like commercial breaks in between your favorite show. You need a second to digest what just happened. Just take pause. Clarity will come when you slow down. And one minute meditations, especially before you start your to-do list, is gonna be a great way to get you started. All right, your third tip to getting more clarity, write a to-do list every single day. Most of us are trying to run marathons when we can't even run up the block. We're trying to get clarity on what our life purpose should be and we're not even clear on what we should be doing that day. So let's start at the beginning. Here's the truth. Clarity is not just gonna smack you in the face one day. Clarity is building blocks of habit of choosing to actively try to become more clear. So when you wake up in the morning after you've had your you time, take pause, and then write down what you have to do for that day. There is nothing more crystal clear than seeing it on paper or your screen. Clear days lead to clear weeks, lead to clear months, lead to clear years. If you know somebody who would really, really benefit from this, share it with them. And if you got value out of this, don't forget to like this video, hit that subscribe, follow me on Instagram, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.